Are you tired of your vocals not sounding professional in FL Studio? Well, I have the ultimate solution for you. I found the easiest and the best way to sound professional in FL Studio. Let's get right to it. So first off, let me just play you the unedited, unmixed, unmastered version of this track. Um, it's a track by Jaden, and I'll play it right now. <laughs> We're going to make this sound so dope. You have no idea. So the first thing we can do, your beat, let's just give it to track mode. Let's assign it to track, insert two. And then we can assign the vocal track, if we'd like, to insert one, which I already have it there. Okay, so then we're going to open up Mixer. And right now, if your vocals are on the left or right, all you do is move this over it's because you recorded in stereo you move this little knob over um, and it will make it mono so then let's just title these vocal just to organize the stuff beat okay so we have our vocal and beat track now i understand how frustrating it is using fl studio stock plugins it's because they're not very visual, they're annoying, and you always have to look in the top left to see what the numbers are. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the best way is by using Waves Studio Rack and the Waves Ultimate Plugin Bundle, which is a subscription that you can get for free for seven days. Let me just show you why, and you're gonna hear um, why it's better and easier. Because every time I go to a slot, it gets really annoying to go through your favorites or right here or go to more plugins, search the plugin right here. What we're gonna do is on slot one of the vocal, we're gonna just search up for Studio Rack, Stereo, and now this right here is the same thing as this, but just simpler, easier. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add NS, one which is noise reduction this is going to clean up the ground noise from the vocal we're just going to put it at point one don't got to worry about it it's easy right the next thing we're going to add is f6 okay and if you want to follow along i will make sure to link the subscription down below just install them it's a seven day free trial you will not regret it so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to start looping I'm going to loop right here. So we can hear. So we have this F6. This is a dy dynamic EQ, and it is very powerful. I'm going to show you why. So let's just cut some lows up to about right here. Then I'm going to find the high points in this and put some markers there. Right there. Okay, now instead of just doing this like a normal EQ, that takes all these frequencies out, right? And that's what is making your vocals thin. Instead, we're saying we're going to move this threshold to a little bit under the high point of the, co the blue color that you see. We're saying when it hits above that threshold right there, we want it to duck three decibels, and that's a good rule of thumb. We're going to do the same thing with four. And by the way, I like to EQ and compress a little bit before I do the auto-tune, so we will get there, I promise you so just try to get it under where you know the high point so now on three i actually want to go range to five just because there's a lot of low mids in his vocal 
Okay, now we're going to compress a little bit. And we're making it a little bit clean and consistent before we send to the auto tune. Because if it's if we don't EQ a little bit, make it consistent, then the auto tune has to do a lot more work. And we don't want that. So we're going to add our compressor. And you see how easy searching plugins is? Like if I want EQ, boom, I can go through all these. Open it right away. So our compressor. We're going to bring it a little bit under the top part of the orange. Then we're going to bring the ratio to 6. We're going to bring the attack up a bit. We're going to change electro to opto. Opto is great for vocals because it's faster compressor. Okay, then we're going to bring the gain up till it's sitting right. Okay, now let's add some auto tune. So waves, tune, real time, great auto tune. So you can put your beat into tunebat.com to find the key of it, and then you're gonna set the scale to that same thing. So I know this is, you can go right here, major, minor, major, B major. I'm gonna put, he sounds good with a lot of auto tune, so I'm gonna put the speed at two, and then note transition at 12. So general rule of thumb is you want your speed a little bit faster than your note transition. You want your note transition to go with the speed of the song. So you just mess with this a little bit more. Nice. Okay. Now what we're going to do is make it even more consistent with a second compressor. So we're going to do type in 76, CLA 76 on Blackie. We're going to move this attack right in the middle. It's going to make it super consistent. Now we can use this trim button to increase the gain of the overall vocal. Since we're compressing it, we're squeezing it, it's getting smaller. So now let's increase the loudness. Nice. Okay. Next, we can add some crispy top end. I love SSL EV2. We're going to turn off analog, and all we're going to mess with is these two buttons right here. So I start at 8K. And I'm going to boost. So this is saying like at 8K, boost up 6. Nice. I'm going to move this around just to see if it sounds better boosted somewhere else. And that's why I'll fly. Nice. Really nice. Now we're going to add we're a de -esser. So I just type in esser and use this de -esser. Now, a de -esser is important because when you raise the highs, yes, it sounds nice and crispy, but your S's and T's are louder than anything else. So you need to control those a bit more. So we're going to bring this threshold down so we get about like Negative three when we hear some S's. Nice. Okay, very simple. Don't have to change anything else. That's why I love that simple de -esser. Now, amazing part about using Waves plugins and just having the Waves Ultimate Bundle with Studio Rack is that I know how a pain it is. You route this track to another track. You make this your reverb bus and stuff like that. But you can do that directly on Studio Rack. So I could go to this open slot, hit parallel split. I can put... This is like the same thing. This is busing. This is... 
uh, a return track. This is whatever you like to call putting your effects on different tracks. Okay, so we're gonna add a, de a delay right here. And we're gonna hit the plus sign and we're gonna hit put a reverb right here. Okay, now on this first one, let's do delay, type in delay, use H delay. Um, put on ping pong, EQ it up to 500 and up to 5,000. Put your dry wet all the way up. Make sure analog's off. And then you're going to generally use like 1 8th or 1 4th. This is a slower song, so I'm going to do 1 4th. Okay, we'll come. We will uh, turn this on, see how that sounds. So now we can use this knob right here to control the wet or how much delay we want. Beautiful. Now if I solo this, you can hear it's just a delay. Beautiful. The same thing as routing to another track to put to make a reverb. So then I, I could, you know, put an, another EQ or I could put a distortion after that and I it will only affect this delay track. So the next thing we'll do is reverb. I really like R verb. And I change the reverb type to plate one. I EQ it. EQ it a bit. You can see the frequencies over here. So I'm going up to like 500. I'm gonna put the pre-delay at like 40 since it's a slower song. 20 is a good rule of thumb to start at. Uh, then the reverb time I'm gonna put at four. Just a nice long reverb. Make sure wet's all the way up. And then we're gonna lower this reverb till it's sitting nicely. And that's why I'll fly For you all to everything Cause you are my mind I'm gonna lower this delay a little bit You all to everything Cause you are my mind Cause you are all mine And then let's say you want to lower the overall volume of the whole vocal and the effects You would use this knob right here You all to I'm going to turn the pre-delay up even more to like 50. And what I'm going to do is open up the com uh, compressor. I'm going to move this uh, attack up a bit more. It's like three. Just because a few of the, the first part of the words are a little bit harsh. This will smooth them out. You are to everything. Cause you are my mind. Cause you are all mine. And that's why I fly. Nice. Okay, so now that we have a mix, now we want to make it consistent, louder, um, and more glued together and more cohesive to sound good on a phone, you know, in a car and things like that. So we're going to get into mastering. So we have the beat track routed to the master. We have the vocal track routed to the master. You can just rename it to master if you'd like. I had it named, change the color, boom. So we got our master track. We're gonna do the same thing with Studio Rack. We're gonna put on Studio Rack. Stereo. And I also know Waves mastering stock plugins are a little bit weak compared to this. Like if you're trying to have super professional stuff and ease of mind and have an easier workflow 
you can't get better than this. So the first thing we're going to do is add F6 RTA. We're just going to do very light minimal changes to see if some things need boosted, some things need reduced. So that's what we'll do. You are too so those slight changes you could hear the before and after just very minimal work next we're going to add a vitamin this is going to add harmonics and just make it more rich so all we do is just move up and down these to see if anything sounds good so it's just adding harmonics in the highs high mids wherever you want Nice, adding a little bit. Next, we're going to glue. Next, we're going to glue the song together. So we're going to do SSL comp right here. And make sure analog's turned off. You're going to turn the attack to 30, release to 1. And we're just going to move this threshold until it's compressing up to about 4. You are two and, three, Get. and we're going to make sure that it's on where the beat hits. Next, I want to go back to the vocal and turn the vocal down a little bit using this. So it's really sitting perfect on the beat. Nice. Okay. So we're always coming back to that. So go back to the master. Now we are going to add L3 Ultra Maximizer. And all we're going to do is bring, use this middle button to bring these both down until we get a, hitting right in the middle between zero and three. So a simple hack that is kind of hard to hear, but what it does is it controls the beat um, and the, the overall loudest parts a little bit more till we get into our main limiter which is going to bring the overall loudness of it to sound loud on a phone, computer, whatever. Just very little bit. That's all you need. And then we're going to put an L1 limiter, close that, and then we're going to under it put WLM meter. And our goal is to see what the luffs are at. We want our goal is to get to negative nine. That's industry standard loudness. So So we're at negative 14. That means we probably got to go up five decibels on our limiter. So we want to put our outs in at negative 0.1 so nothing clips. And then we're going to bring this down five. We're going to see what that does.
Now, since we brought the overall loudness, I like to do a bit of final mixing because it brings everything more out so you can define it a little bit more. So I like going through the EQ and compressors and just doing some final adjustments. So that is the best way to mix and master NFL Studio. It is just a game changer. It makes it so much more fun and it makes it sound so much more professional and I just love it. So I couldn't recommend it enough. So I'll link the Waves Ultimate plugin subscription down below. And it also, since you stayed this long, you can download this preset that I made and mastering chain for completely free. And like I said, if you're interested in 25 more, uh, presets we have the waves ultimate vocal preset pack which you can download and i will link the waves master sauce 2 which is 25 mastering chains so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to smash that like button down below and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in more videos just like this make sure as always comment below any questions you have i check them every day so if you're interested in to see how our waves ultimate vocal preset pack works and how to install even presets you can check out this video right here.